Wave Live. I'm Mondo Fresco. And I'm Denise Jones. Okay, so our first story is uh, a very sad, heartbreaking story. Terrence Crutcher was shot by police officer Betty Shelby this week. Crutcher's car had broken down. He was unarmed and was then shot with his hands up. See, this is why Colin Kaepernick is kneeling during the national anthem. People are outraged and, and don't understand, oh my God, he's causing, he's disrespecting the, the flag and this and the other. This is why, in situations like this, that he's kneeling. You know what, at the end of the day, it's, it's bigger than, than Colin. Right. You know, it's bigger than the NFL, it's bigger than sports. I mean, this is, this is a big deal that has to be taken care of. And right. change has to happen here in the US. I mean, it's 2016, there's no reason why um, you know, something like this should still continue. I mean, we're, we're a stop away from becoming a hashtag mm -hmm. at this point. You know, it's really, really heartbreaking. Now, Shaquille O'Neal says, I don't know Colin, but to each his own. I don't really have a say on it, but I would never do that. My father was a military man and he protected this country. Uncles are in law enforcement. They go out and work hard every day. Just, you know, other ways to get your point across. This is what bothers me about this statement. This doesn't apply to his father, this doesn't apply to the uncles, the good men that served in our military, that served in our armed forces. This doesn't apply to the good men. This applies to the Shelbys of the world. This applies to the people killing innocent black men unarmed. Yeah. And I don't understand, Shaq, well, how, don't, how you don't recognize that, you know? But I do see where he's coming from, but at the same time, I don't think he should be explaining himself or, or using those words if it doesn't apply to you. Like, no one's trying to attack you. We're trying to just shine a light on the negativity and the wrong that's going on that is, that's causing injustice. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, change has to happen, man. Again, yeah. it's, it's 2016. These things should not be happening, you know? Um, now, uh, let's talk about the game and Meek. You know, Some, Game and Meek Mill, they're, they're beefing. And, something and, that could be prevented. And game was, the game was on, on the Wendy Williams show, and he said he felt like he was violated. Now, you know, the, the elephant in the room is Sean Kingston, and I don't mean it like that, okay? I don't, Ouch. don't mean it like that. Ouch. Uh, he was stripped of his, of his chain. He told Game, hey, Game, can you get my chain back? And then he told Meek, Meek pretty much said, yo, bro, I think Game, Game's people took it from you. You know, so then Sean Kingston gets gets involved, gets the police involved. Messy, they, just they messy, raid, messy. They raid the game's home, and now the game's like pissed off and hurt, and and I can see all of that. You know, I, it's just unfortunate, and and it's a just lot of dumb. Stuff. It's very dumb, and it's all like again, like you said, he said, she said. The biggest problem with this, a couple months ago, you were like, yo, let's stop the violence. You went up there with Snoop Dogg. You kind of made amends with like the, the bloods, mayor. with the mayor, with the bloods in the crypts, and you were like, yo, let's bring peace. Let's, you know, let's stop the violence with our youth. And now you're kind of igniting this war with East Coast, West Coast, meek against game. So it's like, come on, game, like, be the bigger man, yeah. stand up for the West Coast, and, and just kind of squash the beef. All right, now, while at the BET Hip Hop Awards, Lil Yachty had some choice of words for those who haven't embraced the new era of hip hop. People, he didn't say that word. He said right. another word. Of course he didn't. Uh, people don't know how to <laughs> accept change. They old and washed up. I said it. That's what he said. End quote. This is after admitting uh, to not being familiar with music by the legends Tupac and Notorious B.I.G. I mean, what? See? I mean, what? I mean, I mean ha ha sway, ha sway. So many problems with this. There's so many problems with this. What he should have admitted, if you really wanted to admit something, is like, hey guys, I didn't do my homework as a rapper, so I'm sorry for being ignorant. Let me do my research and acknowledge the greats, Pac and Biggie, because since, and I'm speaking as if I was Lil Yachty, as a fan of Drake, if, if if my idol is Drake, Drake likes Pac and Biggie, I'm gonna do my research on Pac and Biggie because I wanna be like the greats and I wanna not just be a one hit wonder, I don't wanna just be in the scene for a couple months. Like, right. come on bro, you have to earn your stripes too at the end of the day and it's one of those where he's just, he's, it's an ignorant statement. He said Drake is, is, was better than Tupac. Come on! And, and that I don't understand as well. I mean, you know, you can't just say things like that. You can't. It's, it's disrespectful. You, you sound know? dumb. And uh, you know, and I, you have to. You said you have to learn your history. You have to know where hip hop came from. 
uh, if this is what you're going to do. I right. get it, a lot of teenagers, you know, they don't know about Tupac and Biggie. You right. Know, and, but, and, but that's not what they want to get into. They're not rappers. And for, I'm a Yachty for, for fan. Living. I love Lil Yachty. But it's hard when you, you make these statements, brother. Like, come on. If you're going to become a, an architect, you know, you have it's to a great learn example. your Pythagorean theorem. Whether you, you know want to or not. You can't be like, yo, that's corny. That's, right. That's, that, that Pythagorean theorem is washed up. Right. You can't, you can't do that. All right. Now, speaking of Lil, Kevin Hart, a.k.a. Chocolate <laughs> Dropper, finally drops Baller Alert <laughs> with Migos and T.I. Uh, this is the first look at his What Now album. Right. I think uh, it's amazing. Kevin Hart is, is, I mean, owns the box office. He wants to own, you know, the music industry, too. Yeah. What, what I'm against, I'm a big fan, Kevin. I just would like to hear Chocolate Dropper, you know, Kevin Hart, freestyle or, or, or just drop some bars, some chocolate right. bars, some Chocolate <laughs> Dropper. Right, you know, right, right. Just go in, you know what I'm saying? Um, because I'm a fan, I would, I would love that. I think his freestyles are hilarious. and They are. At, at this point, he's just doing the whole DJ Khaled thing, and he's just doing a few ad-libs here and there. I but feel, uh, I would like to hear more. I agree with you 100%, but I also feel like this is just like a throwaway track. Like, maybe it's not his track, because again, I feel like Kevin Hart knows everybody. But I feel like he has even better looks up his sleeve, and, you know, being that he signed to Motown, um, I feel like he has a lot more in store, and this is just like, oh, He's just gonna, this is like a throwaway track, and he's like, oh, you guys really think I'm like nothing? And then his next track is gonna be like, pow! Like, it's yeah. gonna be Kanye, so good. Kanye and Kendrick. Jay Z. <laughs> like, people, you would, he, he's probably gonna make Chris Rock rap. Yeah. yeah you know? Sure. Like, I don't know. He's, gonna, he's like, he has that power. I yo, think. yo, Obama. I need, <laughs> I need 16. All right, now, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie have filed for divorce. His lawyers have confirmed this. Jolie's planning on keeping yeah. full custody of. <laughs> her six kids, <laughs> our team, our guys. He's, he's trying to get at Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Angelina yeah. Right now. There we go. Uh, wait, what, what do you feel about this? I feel like I love Angelina Jolie, but I feel like this is karma. Because, yeah, because, oh. because Brad Pitt was with Jennifer Aniston for years. Yeah. I think they were engaged, too. And then, like, his side piece was Angelina Jolie. Then they, then he breaks things off with Jennifer Aniston. He he starts this relationship with Angelina Jolie. Has, you know, I wouldn't say has, but they get all these kids, and and then they get married. And now look, look where we're at. Karma is real. Is tell me it's not karma is real. Okay. Yeah. Karma is real. You don't believe in karma? Watch yourself. Watch yourself. That's such a girl thing to say, though. Karma, karma is real. She looked, she looked, she looked me up and down too. She was like, "Karma is real." Like, because like, it yo, is I real. Break up with Angelina Jolie. Man. Don't, don't get on me. Because karma is real. Um, but I did hear that Angelina Jolie is collaborating with Future. Do you know that? No. Yeah, yeah. They got a song uh, coming out. It's called "I Got the Kids, Kids, Kids." <laughs> I got the kids, kids, kids. Hey, thank you so much for hanging out with us. This is Hubwave Live. I'm Ando Fresco. And I'm Denise Jones. Woo!